I'm going to make a cauliflower and nutritional yeast based low fat vegan cheese sauce. The pictures were from yesterday because I wanted to try it out before I made the video. So the first step is to bring two cups of water to a boil and then I'm going to put in this 12 ounce package of frozen cauliflower and cover it. Turn down the heat and just let that heat up for about 15 or 20 minutes until the cauliflower gets soft. It's been about 20 minutes. The cauliflower is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the blender thing and first I'm going to scoop out the cauliflower. And after I got the cauliflower scooped out, I'm going to pour the water in. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, an eighth teaspoon of turmeric, one fourth cup nutritional yeast, one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch, half a tablespoon of lemon juice, and about one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. The salt is optional. You could also throw in one fourth teaspoon of smoked paprika, one fourth teaspoon of dry mustard, and one tablespoon of miso, but I'm leaving that out of this recipe. Next step is to blend it. I'm using the sauce setting on the blend tech. Alrighty then. The next step is to put it back in the pan on low heat. I need to use a rubber spatula to get it out. Alright guys, so it's been a couple minutes. I've been stirring it and right here you can taste it and if it needs more salt you can put more salt in it if you want to. And if it's too thick you could add a little bit of almond milk maybe. If it's too thin you could add more cornstarch. So there it is. That's it. And I have some corn pasta back here, so what I'm going to do is put this on top of the corn pasta. So it's kind of like a macaroni and cheese or pasta and cheese type thing. And I'm going to stir that up a little bit. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And I'm going to put that in a bowl. Low fat, vegan, macaroni and cheese, basically. All right, here it is. That is good. It's really good if you like nutritional yeast. It's very nutritional yeasty. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.